Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Anthony Vlog, and in this video, I want to show you the insides of the Sky Controller 2P. Now, in my previous video, I talked about the Sky Controller 2, and in this one, Sky Controller 2P, and this I got from an auction on eBay, which was really good because I didn't have to spend an arm and a leg. And just a special shout out to Alan. Alan, if you're watching this, thanks for the, you know, the thing. Without that, wouldn't be possible for me to get all these parts to open up and show you the insides. Okay, so the design and the difference between, and the difference between the Sky Controller 2 and Sky Controller 2P. If you're thinking that they're the same, they are not. The buttons and configurations may be the same and the controller size but they're two totally different birds. One runs on a two cell LiPo which is a Sky Controller 2 and the Sky Controller 2P runs on a um, 3 volt um, 18650 18 battery. Those big ones. I Power wise, if you have a very demanding device, the Sky Controller 2P would uh, drain a lot faster than the original Sky Controller 2 because it has a 2S and this one has a uh, 18650 uh, cylindrical battery. You know, a lot of people might be complaining, oh, the, the power, this, my, my battery is bad on the Sky Controller 2P. Well, that's because of the internal battery. So it's, it's a lot more demanding. Uh, the internal Electronic is also different as well, where the Sky Controller 2P has a little radio built into a separate unit, which has a heat sink, which is screwed onto the, the outer PCB, and the antennas are different. The, um, the Sky Controller 2, it has these ceramic coated antennas, and these ones just have uh, cheap uh, like stainless steel plate as the antennas and then they use the um, end connectors to to connect to the amplifier in terms of the USB uh, they're in the same place obviously but we'll just go under the microscope and see so on the um, sky controller 2 we had the um, um, diodes on each side of the of the socket and then we had the transformer down the middle and then you had the line of resistors and capacitors and fuse so we'll just take a look top down first so that's the top okay um, sky controller 2p USB socket it does have the diodes on the side in the same position as the sky controller 2 the row of fuses and capacitors and uh, one or two resistor is the same um, very close location as in the uh, Sky Controller 2. The only noticeable difference is that the two fuses that were here for this step up are uh, no longer there. They're just blanked out and you've got you've also got the coil but it's moved further back so I'm assuming that is a step up. So there's not much difference to them if you're soldering. Even with a small soldering tip, I'll just use this. See how big it is. That's, that is a T5, T4. This is a T5, so it's pretty small. And you can see how, how even uh, with a small T5, you can see how small those components are. See that fuse is really small, it's smaller than the tip of the T5. So you have to be very careful when you're soldering them in. <clears throat> so I'll just run through this again in case you solder it and you knock off some parts. You've got one of these, the diodes, look like diodes, on each side. So just make sure that they're there. If they're not there, it might do a boot loop. And there's a fuse here. And then the capacitors all the way down here. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> and then you got a resistor here. Resistor. Uh, one or two resistor, or is it two, zero, one? I can't see it's upside down. 
and then you've got the coil further back. So just make sure you have all those components when you uh, soldering your USB socket back in. I think it's it's a lot easier to solder back in the port on the Sky Controller 2P because of this design. Um, if I were to choose which controller, I would choose the original Sky Controller 2, mainly because of the battery. Uh, but that's really all there is to it. The the two controllers are, are completely different. So if, if anyone says that they're the same, they're not. Um, and that is why they run on two different firmwares. They don't have the same firmware version for each of them. They're actually separate hardware. So. I hope this answers your question about the Sky Controller 2 and Sky Controller 2P differences. Uh, don't ask me about the range. They would put out the same range, but I would say that the Sky Controller 2P would be um, a bit less than the Sky Controller 2, mainly because of the power. I mean, if you put power um, against uh, your amplification wattage, that goes the distance. So I'm, I'm speaking theoretically, but yeah. Uh, give me a thumbs up uh, if this is interesting to you and if not the other one works very well until next time fly safe and god bless